hanging out town with Mark Clark and my special guest, Jordan. Ha! Jordan! <laughs> Banks. <laughs> right? What's up, man? How are you? I say it right, man? No, you did. You said Jordan. Right. Jordan. So, look, man, I saw, you know, I do a couple of different formats. I do Westwood One, and I'm here at, at Radio 103.9. Nice. And I saw this name keep popping up yeah. that I wasn't familiar with. How did you pronounce it? You... I said, yeah, I just said, <laughs> Gord. I just jacked it up. <laughs> but it was funny because I, I liked the music. I just didn't know how to say the name. Right, right. And then, but I thought it was a grown-ass man, an old person. <laughs> Everyone says that. Everyone. <laughs> I thought it was my uncle or something <laughs> <laughs> with a complex name. Right. But no, I was rifling through some old hip hop mm -hmm. and I saw and I saw these I heard these heartfelt songs mm. from Meek Mill. Yeah, Heaven and Hell. And I was like mm. This dude, aha! Aha. This dude's the, the soul. It's the soul. Thank you. So was it the soul of your EP that brought you here, man? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Cause I mean you had it's it's interesting because I think well Wow Ale, Meek. It's like your voice stood out, and, and the, the the hooks, like, what's the, what it used to, used to used be? Used to be a used to, yeah. That needs to be a single. I don't know if your record person's around, but oh, man. you need to revamp that, that for R&B, man. That that, that's not for me, but that was his song. And, maybe, and you know what? I, I did say that I would make that a song. You need to make it, because it's, it's just, it's, it's a haunting, it's a haunting hook, man. And I think, I was like, well, that's why I didn't want to ask you that question. Do you, you know, is it a case where your, your, your vocals kind of brought you to a straight R&B, straight R&B? Definitely. I, got, I started off as a songwriter. Okay. And um, to, to give you a little background of myself, when I um, first did the Used to Be a Used to Hook with, for Meek Mill, I, I had in my mind someone like Trey Songz or R. Kelly. And then when I went, I was in L.A. and I, I had stopped by uh, the studio, the Boom Boom Room, to see Meek. And I was like, yo, who, who, you, who, who you gonna put on this record? He's like, man, are you crazy? Yeah. He's like, man, it's you. It's like, you, man. Like, like, this is you. I'm it's like, true. Really? It, it is like, you, man. Because yeah. it's like, it's like the, you know, can you can you hit a little bit of that? I, I used to be you're... used to. I used to grind in the dirt. <laughs> I used to cry till it hurt. I will look up to the heavens. When is my time going to come? Mm. I used to be used to. But I never got used to being what I used to be. Come on, little man. something, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's just, a that was a, that's I, an instant I, I classic, man. I should have warmed up that's for that. That's an instant but, classic, you know, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Don't let Bill Withers hear that. Oh, man, for real? Don't let Bill Withers hear that, Bill man. Bill Withers, that's, that's... See, when I get my TV show, now I, mm -hmm. I speak it into existence. Oh, I have wow. Bill on, mm -hmm. and have you, and have you, and have Bill come up, and y'all do it together. Oh, that'd be incredible. And then you do one of his old songs. That'd be incredible. <laughs> that'd be incredible. But let's that's talk about your career right now. Let's talk about it. <laughs> so... You know, we're, we're you know we're spinning your records, man. We're spinning Thank it on you. Westwood One. We're spinning Thank it around you. the country. Thank you. Thank so you. you know, is it is it odd that you're so that you're a young guy who's getting played by us old people, or not necessarily? No, it's not. <laughs> it's not odd. What it is is that it, it's real music being embraced. That's true. And, um, and I I don't know if uh, this is the right platform to speak hey, on this, but hey, speak on it. What I will say is that. Um, Imagine if Keep You In Mind was sung by, uh, let's say, Justin Timberlake. Yeah. Come on. You know, we would be talking about a different, yes. we would be having a different conversation. You know, like it's Blurry real. Lines or um, even with Robin Thicke. You know, imagine Robin Thicke or, you know. Mm. So, I don't, I, I'm not offended. I'm actually happy because this is a great foundation because one thing about the music is that when the people, when my, when my, uh, when, when your peers and the people that like the people that look up to your music, you know, respect you, you know, you feel good, you feel great, and it's a great thing. But when the people that are you know older and that you look up to, right. and your you know your elders in a sense, not calling anyone old, but the people that you look up to, sign man, sign young man, <laughs> sign young man, sign young man, here for you, young man. <laughs> the people that you look up to embrace your music, embrace your sound. It feels good because now when your son or your daughter, have you ever heard of Jordan? Exactly. Yeah, I love that kid. Like, he's incredible. You know, so I have, it's funny because my second single is with Dage Loaf, which is like night and day. <laughs> but it's still, you know, it comes together. It bridges the gap. And um, I tell people all the time, you know, they, they ask me to describe my music. And I say, I want to bring back the music that you can sit down at the table and have a dinner with your family 
and mm. everyone can connect with the music. Everyone can relate to it, and it hasn't been an artist like that in a long well, time. Well, with Dave's Lowe's, so at least you could have groceries. <laughs> right, but right, um, right, right. <laughs> this is what I say. <laughs> this is funny, yeah. <laughs> what I That's say. Echo. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> damn you, old age. That was a funny joke, man. Yeah, it was good. That was, 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 was the right artist. She was with me, though. That was a home run if you'd have hit that. Oh, man, that's foul. It's uh, out of bounds. So, that was a home run if you'd have hit it. <laughs> This is what I say, though, man, and, and this is what I do love about it. I did mornings a long time, forever, mm -hmm. and now I'm doing nights on a grown, like I say, adult station. Mm -hmm. Now, what, 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 like you just said, what's great about when you have a great song and you're a great songwriter and great singer, Thank you. I'm playing, you're going, you're going up against Marvin Gaye, you're going up against Jeffrey Osborne, you're going up against Shaka Khan, mm -hmm. and like you said, some artists don't make the cut, you know what I mean? That's what I love about my, my shift in, in this format is that if you're a young artist like yourself on on it, you know it says something about your about you. Also, the fact that you had success in hip hop, mm -hmm. it, it, it's a plus for hip hop because it's kind of like pulling it out of. Yeah. Because, like you say, I hate you know I hate to hear these stupid lyrics. There are many famous singers, I won't name names, mm -hmm. who have amazing talent. Mm -hmm. I won't name names, right. but their songs are crap. They ain't never sang about nothing, right. and the clock is ticking, right. and you ain't going to be around. Like, you you know, you'll be around. Thank you. Because, ho hopefully, you know what I'm saying, hopefully. you might not have sold a billion records, but what you, like Bill Withers, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, everything he wrote was real. Right. And that's very important, so I'm glad for you, brother. And so us old guys are excited when we see Thank you. And like I said, when I saw when I saw you, I was like, this is the young guy. And I started just checking out the videos on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And so, did it come from church? Did it come from... You know. Yeah, church is definitely. Okay. I was kind of one of those, was in those families where my mother and my father was both ministers, and they were kind of forced to go to church. Yes, but you know, are you sending the secular music? Are you are you shaming everybody? Or are you okay? I, I Big Mama ain't mad at you because you're singing. As long as I keep sending her, no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> as long as I keep sending her some coins. Them tides are right. Them tides. Them we tides must and again want to thank Jordan for getting us no, a new what's kitty funny, choir. What's funny is that I just uh, this last Sunday. I uh, opened up for the Gospel Trailblazers BMI on a uh, TV One. Wow! And um, it was so special to me because you know me having that background with Meek Mill and Fifty Cent, the hip hop background, and then having this single and being and I don't, I don't want to say the secular world or secular music, but that's what it's labeled as. Yeah, like, yeah. Making that type of music and having so much a, a true connection to the church and just Christianity. And being able to be a part of that so early in my career, it just was great. It was a great experience. And I, I was so, I was proud of myself. You know, I don't care who, I'm sure someone didn't like it. Like, oh, how, how he's serving the, the God and then serving the devil at the same time. I'm sure I, I'm, I know how yeah, people yeah, are. Yeah, okay. They're not there yet. For me, right, they're yeah, not there yet. For yeah. me, that meant a lot. And it was good to be a part of that experience. And, um, and, I, and I think also what's interesting, yeah. like, I imagine when, you know, when you dealt with, You've dealt with people in the industry. Mm -hmm. There was a time when, as a musician or as a singer, as a whatever, you did go through, you went through a process. There's a way you had to do it. Definitely. Church is, like you said, that kind of how you were raised is yeah, a big part of that. Definitely. You know, <laughs> the organist knows when to start playing when the preacher. Right, right, right. And all right, these right. things are things that you kind of grow up with, and it's a mm -hmm. part of kind of, you get to a certain level. You didn't just hop, you didn't just, you didn't just get a solo in church. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You got to earn that solo right. in church. Mm -hmm. And I think this generation, like your generation, a lot of times, they haven't had to do that, but you have. Yeah. So you have, you know how to do it both ways. You know how to just, I do. you know, you know, I act do. like you've been there before, or at the same time, you've yeah. been in places. So you, so that's what a, a blessing that is. So, yeah, that's a blessing. So, so yeah. you know, um, tell us about the, the project, and tell us when we can get it, and then we'll be gone. Okay, well, the project um, is, is, is finishing up. It's sounding amazing. Again, the second single is uh, with Dej Loaf. The third single is produced by Rodney Jerkins. I have an amazing song uh, called Never Ends that is actually uh, featuring Larry Gold that I'm very excited about. Mm. And um, it, it's just a great experience to do this and build this project and do it independently. I have my own uh, independent record label that I release my music from so that to have... A top 15 record, you know, on Billboard, and to be the CEO of a company at the same time is just like, I can't. It's almost like, wow, if this is really happening. Um, the sound is just what I what I really want to touch and, and stick with, and the message because 
it, like you said, in this day and time, R and B music and you know, in a, in a sense, I, I'll say it, black music is kind of like suffering because Oof. now hip hop and rap is R and B. Yeah, like trap uh, infused auto tune infused music is now R and B, and a song like Keep You in Mind, like you said, is now. Uh, Adult contemporary, <laughs> right. old school song when it, it shouldn't be. No, it should be a mainstream. It should be a mainstream song. song. It should yes. be. It's a, it's a song because if I, again, if I was Robin Thicke, it would be. A, we would be talk, talking a different story. You know, and if it were Adele, then it'd oh, be, yeah, I would be on a, every format, I'll country, roof. yeah, polka. oh my God, Jesus. But you know, it, it's oh a, well, it, oh well. Welcome. But listen, but listen, <laughs> welcome, brother. <laughs> But listen, we're going to turn that around. We're going to. I love. I like you. Yo. That's what happens. As you get older, it gets worse. No, yeah. <laughs> not not worse. Listen, I'm just saying. It is what it is. No, no, no. But I, I'm glad we can keep be honest. Yeah, but, you know, yeah. the, the music is definitely coming back, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do something special. I'm telling you guys haven't seen a thing. You know, well, and this is just the beginning of a great journey, and I thank you all for just allowing me to be here. And yeah. That, for your, for your radio station to be a platform to for my voice to be heard. So well, man, look, I'm we, we see people like you coming, and it's like we feel good, man. We feel like whew, all is not lost. Oh man, thank <laughs> you. So thank you. Keep doing the great things you're doing, yes, sir. Jordan, Jordan yes, Banks. Thank you, man. G U O R D A N Banks. Got fancy with it. <laughs> radio 1039. Thank you. You want to shout out social media? Anything? Oh, my social media. Oh. Is Jordan? Yeah, that was smart. Jordan, uh, G U O R D A N, on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, all the same. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Awesome. Oh, I'm joking. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Painless, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, I don't know how it's gonna go. <laughs> nah, 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 I'm, 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 I'm used to it. I didn't know you was gonna help me this, because that's a tough one. I didn't know you was gonna hit me with it used to be, but you know. Man. It is what it is. Knowledgeable man. Yeah. You know, you got that.